Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to read a little scripture to you this evening. So I was reading in the book of Isaiah. I love the book of Isaiah. Um, chapter 5, verse 20. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. It's truly what's going on in the world right now, honestly. And God will judge everything that we've done. We will all stand before God for judgment. And I do talk about repentance, and I repent of my sins daily. I love the Lord, and I want um, to please Him. So I know I fall short of the glory of God every single day. And I just want to put um, some things um, out there that a while ago the Holy Spirit had told me that God is building an army. He's building an army on earth and in heaven. And we all realize as Christians that the spiritual warfare out there is really real. So we have to put on our armor every single day and really fight the good fight of faith and stand firm on the word of God and God's promises of protection for us and blessings. So um, with that being said, I just wanted to read also out of the book of um, 1 Corinthians. Now, the Lord also put upon my heart um, a while back that he would um, bring down the mountains and raise up the valleys. And I believe he was putting upon my spirit this evening that he is going to raise up a bunch of nobodies. They're not nobodies to him, but they're probably nobodies to people of the world. So if you're feeling as if you don't fit in, you're not meant to fit in. <laughs> you're not of this world. This is not your home. Yes, we live here and we do dwell here, but the kingdom of heaven is your home. And the Lord was really putting upon my spirit that he is building an army of Christian believers. And, you know, so don't be discouraged. And because he can turn things around instantly in a flash, <laughs> in a twinkling of an eye, right? So I wanted to read out of the book of First Corinthians, Christ, the power and wisdom of God, starting at verse 18. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of the sage? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For since in this wisdom of God, the world through wisdom did not know God, it pleased God through the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe. For Jews request a sign and Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified to the Jews a stumbling block, and to the Greeks foolishness. But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. Glory only in the Lord. For you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty and the base things of the world and the things which are despised God has chosen and the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are 
that no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him you are in Christ, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption, that as it is written, he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. Amen. And I know that he loves you very much, very, very much, and he wants a relationship with you. Um, I just wanted to share that scripture with you and encourage you that if you're struggling right now, that Jesus hears your prayers, that he loves you very, very much, and you're not alone, and he's not done with you yet. All right. God bless you. I love you in Christ. Amen.